Abby? Sorry I'm late, Freddy. I just had to find my Codfish Commando action figure for show and tell. That's okay, Luther, but we better get going before we're late for school. If we dawdle, we'll be late for school. Freddy, sometimes school is fun. Luther, learning is always fun. <laughs> Show and tell, Luther. I have my Codfish Commando action figure. Freddy, will you sit with me at lunch today? Luther, I'll sit with you every day. Freddy, will you sit with me at lunch today? Luther, I'll sit with you every day. Luther, did you do your homework last night? Sure did, Freddy. What did you bring for show and tell, Luther? I have my Codfish Commando action figure. The schoolhouse is over here. School? Of course I did, Luther. In fact, I'm ready for a great day. And I hope you are too. I've had my breakfast. I've got my books. Comb my bin. Check out my books. Ready for learning. And to have some fun. Heading off to school.
Where are all the guppies? We're hiding. The guppies say the school is haunted by a ghost, and that the ghost is stealing their toys. I saw the ghost, Mrs. Croker. It stupefied me with fear, and then it stole my toy. Boom! Ah. Hey, that's my toy! Boom! That couldn't have been real. There's no such thing as ghosts. Luther and I will find that so-called ghost and get back all the toys. Good luck, Freddy. Ghosts can swim through walls? I wish I could. If we can see through ghosts, do you think they can see through us? I hope Freddy and Luther can solve the mystery and get my toys back. Wow! <laughs> Even with that ghost crawling around, Mrs. Croker's as cool as a sea cucumber. You two aren't in danger, are you? Nothing my buddy Luther and I can't handle. I know we can get to the bottom of this so-called ghost business. I'm ready to take on that old ghost. How did you get to be so brave, Freddy? It's just part of growing up, Luther. I'm not gonna let that phony ghost scare me. Please don't let it scare me either, Freddy. With all this spooky stuff going on, maybe Mrs. Croker will forget to give us homework. I'm really glad Mrs. Croker decided to stay with us. She's great. If we had to get haunted, why couldn't we get a friendly goat? Boy, Freddy and Luther are brave. Well, Freddy anyway. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> A ghost in school is a great big lie. A ghost in school will make us cry. Please believe there's no such thing. We don't want to cry, we love to sing. Algebra, history, and PE. With a ghost around, school cannot be. It's not here, but it might return. We're so scared, we cannot learn. Why do you think that ghost is stealing toys? Guess there's no toy stores in the hereafter. Ah, oh, it's great to be alive. A. 
B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S P U V W X Y Z One Two Three Four Five Six Seven Eight Nine Zero Are you sure we should erase everything? D A N G E R O U S B O Y My poor guppies are positively scared to death. They should take a lesson in courage from me, Mrs. Croker. <clears throat> and uh, from my best pal, Freddy. I've heard of having school spirit, but this is ridiculous. I sure hope Freddy can figure out how to get rid of that ghost. Do you think that ghosts can swim through walls? I wish I could. If we had to get haunted, why couldn't we get a friendly ghost? I hope Freddy and Luther can solve the mystery and get my toys back. Freddy, aren't you scared of the ghost? No, not really. There's nothing more exciting than a day in the sea. You just never know when a pair of plastic coated safety scissors will come in handy. Oh. 
We need to unlock the secret behind this mysterious ghost. Bopper, a diver's helmet, and a wheel for the baby buggy for our trap to be complete. I can't wait to see the guppies get their toys back. Sometimes I wish I were old. Why? You'd understand if you were my age. It's a list that shows what we need to build our trap. We'll still need to get a life preserver, a trident, a mock stock mibblebock whopper bopper a diver's helmet, and a wheel for the baby buggy to make our trap. We still need a muck stock mibblebock whopper bopper for the trap. the funny thing. Try looking in the mirror, you knucklehead. This chandelier is going to trap the bad guy. I can hardly wait to catch that toy napper. Let me at him! Let me at him! 
These are the things we need to find to trap the ghost. We'll still need to get... Freddy, why can't a carrot marry a kumquat? Why? Cantaloupe! Does this so-called ghost scare you, Luther? Not when I'm with you, Freddy. At least, not much. Hey. You. I like to swim with you too, Freddy. It might come in handy.
found a wrench. Favorite food? I love chocolate covered worm doodles. shows what we need to build our trap. We'll still need... We need to unlock the secret behind this mysterious ghost. to the old ruins. I'd have won first prize at the science fair if I hadn't accidentally dematerialized the judges. That so-called ghost deserves to get caught. A science magazine and glasses to read it with. Ah, life is good. Last week, I invented the pocket protector. This week, I'm inventing the pocket. I've invented a pill that contains all the knowledge of a 50-volume encyclopedia. Only problem is, it's a really big pill. Multiplication makes the number real big. So much faster than I can grow as a kid. I love to multiply all the numbers so much. Sometimes I totally forget about lunch. <laughs> I'm always thinking about things scientific. Other kids don't always think they're so terrific. They won't play with me and they call me names. Cause I'd rather read the rules than play the games. <laughs> Oh, 
You're so smart, Freddy. I'm just older than you, Luther. We're getting closer to catching the phony ghosts. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm ready to take on that old ghost. Hi, Tucker Turtle. No matter where I go, I'm always home in my shell. Swimming with my shell is like having a mobile home. Do you know where I could get some shell cleaner? Probably at a shell cleaner store. My, Tucker, your shell certainly is shiny today. That's because I just got it waxed. There's nothing like the smell of a brand new shell. I'm the fastest turtle around. How do you know that? I'm the only turtle here. I'm the fastest turtle around. How do you know that, Tucker? Do you see any other turtles? On land, I'd outrun some rabbit. I'll outswim any fish, cause winning's my habit. Somebody has to There are things that I do To make the time fly This I tell you It is no lie I like to read and to swim real fast And when I do both I have a blast Luther, we've been friends a long time. It feels like forever. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> 
Just what we need for our trap. Hey, this statue is really attached to that trident, isn't it? It's not that, Luther. The trident is being blocked by the ceiling. was supposed to be a good thing. Not in this case. The trident is blocked by the ceiling. The guppy's scared. And me too, Freddy. Chocolate-covered worm doodles. My favorite. Luther, no! You'll get hooked! Huh? Hooked on junk food? No, I mean there's a fishing hook stuck into that worm doodle. Freddy, you saved my life. What could I ever do to repay you? Stop overacting. I sure don't like the way that phony ghost is scaring the guppies. Freddy, aren't you scared of the ghost? No, not really. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sharp thinking. Okay, Freddy, I get the point. No, Luther, that's exactly what you don't want to get. We'll have to use our noodles if we want to get that doodle. It would be great to get that worm doodle, but we don't want to get caught on the hook. If we use our fins to take the worm doodle off the fishing hook, we could get hurt. What we need here is some sharp thinking. Okay, Freddy. I get the point. No, Luther. That's exactly what you don't want to get. We'll have to use our noodles if we want to get that doodle. <laughs> <laughs> If we use our fins to take the worm doodle off the fishing hook, we could get hurt. I'll bet these scissors will do the trick. Great! Luther, we need to save the rest for later. I guess you're right, Freddy. Sometimes I wish I were old. Why? You'd understand if you were my age. I like to swim around in the deep blue sea. I'll race anyone, you'll never catch me. If I lived on land, I'd outrun some rabbit. I'll outswim any fish, cause winning's my habit. a lot of work, but it'll be worth all the effort. Oh, <laughs> 
the schoolhouse, the ghost will turn you into a couple of fish sticks. Uh -huh. I'm no jellyfish. You can't scare me. However, you can scare me. Well, don't say we didn't warn you. Submarine is this way. <laughs> this diving helmet will be great for our trap. Ugh. Hey Luther, how about giving me a hand? I really appreciate the great job you're doing. No, Luther! This helmet is snagged on the kelp! Help me break it loose! Oops! <laughs> Silly me! <laughs> Whew! How are we gonna get the helmet for our trap? I'm sure there's a way. We just have to think of it. I hope Mrs. Croker isn't worried about us. She knows we can do it, Luther. A scarecrow doesn't scare me. Don't we need to get this helmet for our trap? Yes, we just need a way to free it from the kelp. Here, Luther! Snip ahoy, Captain! It's loose! We need three more things to make our ghost trap. I hope we get the trap working soon. I can't wait to see the guppies get their toys back. Freddy, I'm getting tired. Hang in there, Luther. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nobody but nobody gets past Eddie the Eel. I'm in a bad mood because I missed lunch. And you ain't improving things in it. Better skedaddle or I might just eat you. And toss down your little green pal for dessert. Look, it's the life preserver that we need for our trap. Beat it or I might forget myself and eat you guys. Sir, we really need that life preserver. It's not mine, but you still can't get past me. Living underwater is what bugs me the most. You wake up in the morning with soggy toast, and the frying pan never really gets that hot. I can't keep the lid on my cooking pot. My hunger must be... Playing tricks with my eyes. Are you kids still here? Nope, this isn't really us. It uh, may look like us, but uh, it isn't. Really. Ah! Get lost already! You guys are trying my patience! Hey, you can't blame us for trying. Luther, let's try not to get eaten. It'll feel good to solve this mystery, Luther. The longer you guys hang around, the more you're starting to look like lunch. That's funny. I always thought I looked a little more like breakfast. <laughs> I'm lucky to have a friend as brave and smart as you, Freddy. Luther, I feel the same way about you. You... I'm so hungry, my stomach is tight. My hunger is growing from morning till night. All I want is something to chew. You better watch out or I'll eat you. We didn't mean to bother you, sir. Beat it, or I might forget myself and eat you guys. I'm hungry and I'm grumpy and a bad mood to boot. Swim too close and you may go down my chute. I'll gobble you up without even a wink. Then I'll clean my dishes in the sink. But Mr. Eddie the Eel, sir, without that life preserver, we can't build our trap. Ah, oh, you're breaking my heart. Now scram! Hey, I'm real good at scramming. You wanna see? Luther? Ah! Missing lunch gives me a bad appetite and a really bad attitude. The longer you guys hang around, the more you're starting to look like lunch. That's funny. I always thought I looked a little more like breakfast. I'm always charged up with electricity. I let up big sparks, it's so easy for me. 
So don't you come around here, shut your eyes with a snap. Unless you want to see that big teddy zap. Here's your chance to do a good deed and feed a hungry fellow sea creature. You mean give up my worm doodle? My very favorite thing in the whole wide world? Come on, Luther. Do it for Eddie. And for the life preserver. Ah, oh, well, my duty is clear. Wow! I'm getting a major league sugar rush. See you guys later. Luther, that was very noble. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I do noble pretty well, don't I? This life preserver is just what we need to build our trap. Two more things and we'll have everything we need to build our ghost trap. Okay, it gives me time to zing my z ditties. Sailors go down to the sea in a ship, and if they don't sink, they have a round trip. Hell nanny nanny and a hot cha cha. Hell nanny nanny and a hot cha cha. The exception to this rule I've never seen yet. If you jump in the ocean, you're bound to get wet. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. She looks at the seashore and merrily waves. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. I wonder how this submarine got here. Neat boat. It's a submarine, Luther. Oh, neat submarine. <laughs> Nanny nanny and a hot cha cha. Hey nanny nanny and a hot cha cha. It's a rock hopping day under the sea. I'm not 
gonna let that phony ghost scare me. Please don't let it scare me either, Freddy. These gadgets are really neat. What happens if we can't catch the ghost, Freddy? Oh, we'll catch it. We really need that wheel or else we can't complete our trap. Maybe if you wait for the bolt to rust out, the wheel will just fall off by itself. I think we need a slightly more immediate solution. Try this, Luther! Whoa! We did it! There's only one more thing we need to build our trap. Yes, Gwen Father, we know you never had a toy in your whole life, but... But we can't get you any until the kids are out of the classroom. Well, the kids haven't left yet because of that Freddy fish. Yes, Squid Father, no more excuses. We'll do what we gotta do. 
Yeah, uh, boss. Uh, just what do we gotta do, huh? We gotta get rid of those kids. The exception to this rule I've never seen yet. If you jump in the ocean, you're bound to get wet. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Ghost scare you, Luther? Not when I'm with you, Freddy. At least, not much. when we're old. Yes, Luther. Even when we're 20. Our wonderland of sea life. That tide pool is just too far away for me to jump into it. The land up here. 
sure is pretty, but I prefer my water home. Freddy, why can't a carrot marry a kumquat? Why? Cantaloupe! Gee, I don't think I can jump that far. Me? Hooray! We made it to the other side! Favorite food? I love chocolate covered worm doodles. How did you get to be so brave, Freddy? It's just part of growing up, Luther. What do fish use for money? I think I know this one. Sand dollars. I thought so. What kind of instrument does a fish play? I give up. The bass soon. Unless it's out of tuna. That's a bad one, Mr. Triple Fin. What did the teacher say to the noisy shell? Is this a trick question? Clam up. <laughs> Why did the salmon swim upstream? To get to the other side? No, it wasn't aware of the current situation. Get it? Current situation? Hey, looky there. Isn't that the squid father? Where? 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 Yeah, made you look. <laughs> what do you call a shark with no teeth? Toothless? No, you call it anything you want. <laughs> Why doesn't an octopus jog? Why? It has to tie four pairs of shoes. <laughs> Say, are you kids collecting for something? No, but don't let that stop you from making a generous donation. Luther! What do you call a fish that chews with its mouth open? What? Seafood! That's not very polite. Hear about the fish that was caught by the crab? No. It was really in a pinch. <laughs> how do you tell how much a fish weighs? You pick it up? No. You look at its scales. Very funny. There once was a cow guppy who'd hoop and holler. He had a fine young seahorse by the name of Sand Dollar. He'd ride into town with his ten-gallon hat, but nobody knew his name. As a matter of fact, what did the fish yell when it got tangled in the seaweed? Hmm, nothing comes to mind. Kelp! Kelp! That's funny. He. <laughs> 
How does an octopus do the hokey pokey? I don't know. How? He puts his right, 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 right arm in. <laughs> Why a fish so smart? I don't know. <laughs> they swim in schools. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a riddle. What is it you brush your teeth with and sit on? Gee, I don't know. What is it that you brush your teeth with and sit on? A toothbrush and a chair. <laughs> How do seahorses run? How? They scallop. Uh-oh. I get it. I know we can get to the bottom of this so-called ghost business. of the ocean. I picked up junk with one sweeping motion. But you see all this sand collecting under the sea? I'm retired. It's one mess that won't be cleaned up by me. What kind of fish live in Hollywood? Beats me. Starfish. <laughs> Is something I can do for you kids? Not at the moment. Is there anything we can do for you, sir? Yeah, nothing I can think of, but thanks for asking. Why are fish so smart? I don't know. <laughs> they swim in schools. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting on my porch? Well, nothing could be finer. Except maybe eating at Eddie's all-you-can-eat diner. The food there's healthy and it tastes good to me. You know, I only wish that it could be free. Mr. Triplefin lives far away from everyone. Yes, and I think he likes it that way. Mr. Triplefin doesn't really like people, but it's not his fault. He's a fish. Mr. Triplefin lives far away from everyone. Yes, and I think he likes it that way. Here goes another one! That 
There's nothing like a good mystery for some excitement. You can keep your mystery and excitement, Freddy. I'm too scared. Why did the salmon swim upstream? To get to the other side? No, it wasn't aware of the current situation. Get it? Current situation? get to the bottom of this so-called ghost business. Hi, kids. What can I do you for? Hey, Ray. How's business? You probably heard that I am now a collector of fine new and used trophies. And I'm uh, trading one other specialty item. A Mockstock Nibblebock Whopper Bopper. A very hot item, I might add. One of the things we need to build a trap. How much does a muck stock nibblebock whopper bopper go for? This is way under my cost, but since you're such swell looking kids, I'll let you have it for one slightly used trophy. I think we could probably find a used trophy. It's 
the trident we're going to use to build our trap. A mock stock, nibble bock, wop a bop a under my wing. Makes me want to swim around and sing. <laughs> For a mock stock nibble buck whopper bopper. That's a deal I wouldn't even give to my own mother. Ray always has neat things to sell. The town sure looks pretty from here. Bright lights, big city, what a life for a fish. Ray always has a deal especially for us. I used trophy in exchange for this fine mock stock nibble buck whopper buffer. Seems like a good deal to me. If you've got a used trophy, you see. Get some mock stock nibble buck whopper buffer to you from me. This is my very last Mock Doc Mibblebock Whopper Bopper. Be a pity not to see you two fine young kids get it for the price of a measly trophy. Ray always has a deal especially for us. An octopus thought a super duper duka booka poly gizmo. That was not such a smart thing, don't you know? The city is lit up like a pirate's treasure. There's so much to do here, I don't know where to go first. <laughs> We found another purple sea urchin. <laughs> it says Pulley Emporium. It says Pulley Emporium. Oh, 
It says movies. I love going to the theater. Luther, if we spend too long in here, we'll never trap that ghost. Remember that movie about that fish who had that thing? Yes, Luther. Shh. It's always exciting to watch the lives of fish, even if they're not real. Remember that movie about that fish who had that thing? Yes, Luther. Shh. Boo. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Gotta have a mm -hmm, worm doodle. Squishy, squashy worm doodle in all your favorite flavors. Original, chocolate, sea cucumber, lemon, orange, red, 
and new fat free. Grab them, because you got to have them. Luther, if we spend too long in here, we'll never trap that ghost. Barnacle Bob is funny when he rhymes. Freddy, do you think we'll catch that ghost? I don't know, Luther. We'll just have to try our best. We hear rhyming abounds in your pulley emporium. Just point to a pulley. I've got a whole store of them. That looks like an interesting pulley. It's from the schooner Hesperus that sailed the wintry sea. The skipper had taken his daughter along and she stole this here pulley to me. Hey, Barnacle Bob, tell us about that pulley. The Flying Dutchman's captain found true love, you see. And had no need to sail no more, so he sold me this here pulley. Pulleys are the greatest thing since brine shrimp. We're getting closer to catching the phony ghost. So you always make it a point to rhyme? Yes, I do, kids. Nearly all of the time. I'll bet there's a neat story behind that pulley. This pulley come down to the sea, my friends, to the lonely sea from the sky. From the port bow of a tall ship that sailed from Paraguay. Hey, Barnacle Bob, tell us about that pulley. A pirate fish had this pulley and would not give it away until I won it fair and square in a game of underwater croquet. Do you always rhyme whatever you say? Can't help it. My lines are all written that way. So you never falter in your verse? The Rock of Gibraltar's more apt to immerse. Amazing! You make rhyming seem really cinchy. I'm a regular rhyming Leonardo da Vinci. Great stories abound in your pulley emporium. Just point to a pulley and I'll tell you some more of them. So you always make it a point to rhyme? Yes, I do, kids. Nearly all of the time. 
the Flying Dutchman's captain. Found true love, you see, and had no need to sail no more, so he sold me this here pulley. This is the way to the Hall of Fame. Luther, one day you'll be featured in this Hall of Fame. You really think so, Freddy? I know so. I'm glad you know how to build a trap, Freddy. We make a great team, Luther. Famous people can be important role models. You're my role model, Freddy. Luther, one day you'll be featured in this Hall of Fame. You really think so, Freddy? I know so. That bottle looks awfully familiar. <laughs> that bottle looks awfully familiar. Hector Tetra invented the kelp calculator, used in ocean research by kelpologists. Hector Tetra invented the kelp calculator, used in ocean research by kelpologists. It says Freddy Fish, spelling champion. Tina Tuna held her breath above water for 13 minutes. Sergi Sturgeon won four gold medals in the all-ocean powerlifting competition. This plaque says King Crab donated his pearls to build this Hall of Fame. That's the trophy I won for the deep sea spelling bee. I was going to pick it up after school today. Darn! The trophy case is locked. I wonder who we could get the combination from. Hey, I think this fell off the back of the lock. It says, to get the combination to this lock, show this card to Mr. Triplefin. So, if we show this card to Mr. Triplefin, he'll give us the combination. Luther, you're a genius. I know. Luther, that trophy case is locked. Repeatedly jiggling the handle is just an exercise in futility. Luther, that trophy case is locked. Repeatedly jiggling the handle is just an exercise in futility. We need to give this business card to Mr. Triple Bin. Freddy, do you think we'll catch that ghost? I don't know, Luther. We'll just have to try our best. What's this? Hey, you giving me the business? Your business card, sir. 
Well, so it is. <laughs> you boys will be wanting the accommodation to the trophy case. Excuse me, sir, but I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. Hey, that's a coincidence. So's Mrs. Triple Finn. Thanks for the combination, Mr. Triple Finn. This says the combination to the lock is five, zero, four. You kids already got the combination. You waiting for me to give you the silverware too? No, but now that you mention it... Luther! Luther, you're the best friend a fish could have. Gosh, thanks, Freddy. I hope Mrs. Croker isn't worried about us. She knows we can do it, Luther. You kids study real hard in school, and you may grow up to be as wise as I am. So what you're saying is that you're a real wise guy. Luther? What would you call a flock of cheerful little birds with umbrellas? What? Merry Puffins. Very punny. The city is over here. I bet we can get this lock open now. was when I won this trophy. Gee, it looks expensive. Looks like it's made out of gold. No, Luther. The trophy isn't gold. Only the memories that go along with it. Freddy Fish, Spelling Champion. It says Pulliam Porium. It's the trophy I won in the deep sea spelling bee. Ray, you won't believe this, but I just happen to have a slightly used trophy. Hmm, nice quality. Kid, you just made the deal of the century. Gee, Freddy, sorry you had to give up your spelling bee trophy. I know how much that trophy meant to you. It's okay, Luther. I remember how special it was to win it, and that's what really matters. Let's go catch that ghost. We're ready to make our trap, Luther! That's just about everything! Luther, can we use your toy as bait? Well, okay. Our trap is complete! Someone's coming! <laughs> hey, boss! Look! A toy! Let's grab it! Now, Luther! <laughs> Wait! 
Okay. It's Freddy Fish! And Luther. How could you two scare the poor little guppies and steal their toys? The Squid Father told us to, cause he's never had any. You should know that you can't just take things that belong to someone else. Uh, uh, you know, she just might have a point there, boys. Okay, you can give back the toys. The Squid Father doesn't need the toys as much as the copies. Here, give this to the Squid Father. He should have at least one toy. Come on, Luther. Let's take these toys back to the guppies. Look what we you found! You found the guppies' toys! Hit it, hooray! We solved the mystery, Mrs. Croker! There wasn't really a ghost haunting the school. It was just those sharks pretending to be a ghost. Congratulations! You saved the school! Are you sure you want to stop playing? 